here's the news on this. The aviation department from Kansas City and the airlines that serve KCI told the city council today they want a new single terminal for KCI. And we're going to show you a drawing of what this new single terminal design may look, look like. There's no formal design as of yet. The cost for all of this, $1.2 billion. That is money that will come from the passengers that fly in and out of KCI and the airlines themselves. No general tax money or money from the general fund are going to be used on this. The full city council and the Kansas City voters have yet to approve this. The council vote may come in early May, and the aviation department and the airlines are recommending a vote this summer. Now, Southwest Airlines executive Steve Cisnero, speaking for all of the airlines that serve KCI, laid it out. The airlines have agreed to the new terminal concept. The airlines have agreed to take the financial risk for the project. <laughs> the airlines agree to back the debt. The airlines do not support any other terminal alternative and the airlines are asking for your support and that an August 2016 rent rec referendum is requested. Now those are very big points in this. The fact that the city council has to approve this probably at a meeting in early May and then a city vote on this in August. That could be problematic. Some political operatives are saying August may, be, may not be the best time to put an issue like this on the ballot given the fact that it's probably going to be dominated by Republican voters who are being driven out by the contested Republican primary. The fact of the matter is a recommendation today from the aviation department and the airlines that serve KCI to build a new single terminal aviation new single terminal at KCI. More on this later on. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News.